Hello, hello, my name is George and this is the Car Guy Perspective and today we've got a very, very special one. Behind me is the Aston Martin F1 Vantage and today I'm going to take you for a drive, tell you about it and show you what's up with this real thing. So, stay tuned. This being a bit of a special model, that is the F1 edition, it's got a bit more power, going up to 527 horsepower on paper, and around 3.5 seconds, zero to 60, which I haven't measured, but I believe it because I just took it for a drive, which you'll see in a bit. And frankly, this is the quickest rear wheel drive car I've ever driven, in terms of how, the way it's putting the grip down, the grip down, the way it's putting the power down, and the way it handles in bends. It's as close as you could get to a Porsche GT3, but the engine's mounted the wrong way. So it's as good as it's gonna get for a front, front mid mounted engine. But yeah, let me show you a bit around it, the features inside, because this thing is beautiful. You know I'm an Alcantara fanboy, so let me take you for a little spin around the car. First of all, I'm gonna start with these seats because they're absolutely gorgeous. Graphite Alcantara, black leather, and a red leather strap in the middle. They look absolutely beautiful. And this design feature continues throughout the car, on the doors, on the dash, central console, everything. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm probably gonna put some B-roll on top of this so you guys can see. And yeah, it's honestly incredible. In the middle there, where you can select the gears, well, park, reverse, drive, and all that stuff, you get the F1 edition plaque, which is beautiful. You can see while you drive, so you don't forget while you're in, God forbid. Alcantara steering wheel with leather on the top and on the bottom, and it's honestly gorgeous to hold. And yeah, this thing, this thing is just beautiful to be in, honestly. Nothing rattles, no sounds, besides that humongous exhaust in the back. It's honestly incredible. And this is a OPF car, so it's got all the filters and everything, but it still sounds demonic, so yeah. It's, a, it's an incredible, incredible piece of kit. On the um, door seals here, you can see the F1 uh, Aston Martin, the plaque, which is amazing. And yeah, it's just a, just a beauty to be in. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is actually take you for a drive and talk about it in a bit more details. So uh, let's cut to that. So we are in the F1 Vantage. Put the roof down because if it's convertible, might as well take the roof down. I'm not the biggest fan of convertibles, as you probably already know, but um, if you've got one, why not just use it? And we are around New Forest area. Beautiful, beautiful places. Got some horses here, got some whatever yellow flowers these are, and really, really good roads. Some of them are 40, some of them are 60, but it's perfect for this, uh, this car. Roof down, you don't want to go that quick anyway, just enjoy it. And oh boy, can you enjoy this thing. As I said before, over 500 horsepower on the rear wheels, 295 tires on the back, 295 millimeters, it's got two tires on the back, not 295s. Um, but yeah, it's honestly beautiful, beautiful. Let me just give you a little clip of the sound. Second gear, 3.5k RPM. That was 30 to 70 miles an hour. And back down to the speed limit. Uh, what a car, what a car this is. Incredible. Made it to a few bendy roads. This car. This car. thing is you can't you don't even want to go above the speed limit like I'm under the speed limit right now doing 50 and a 60 and it's just fun you don't even need to go quick to have fun of course if there's somebody in front of you doing 30 that's that's a different story but we can always overtake when the, when the road allows us but yeah this car honestly the front end of this car is so well connected 
and overtake. There we go. Yeah, as I was saying, the front end of this car is so well connected to the road. It's incredible. Like, you can feel every single pebble in the road and that can be annoying but for me as a driver or somebody who enjoys performance driving that's beautiful you can feel exactly where the front end is planted it just takes the corners like nothing you've seen before from Aston Martin honestly it's, it's ridiculous if you've got 150 160 grand depending on the spec for one of these you really cannot go wrong with it it's this is a good comparison to the uh, Porsche GT3 which is just as fun and listen to this absolute pruning it and sharp bend snap high turn and away we go chaos all, all of this within the speed limit it's ridiculously fun how mental is this car I should honestly stop driving it because I mean come on you have to stop driving these cars because I uh, Unless you guys subscribe, then I'll be able to get one and make more content for you. So, yeah, just do that. Shameless plug in there. Yeah, as I was saying, this car is honestly it's such a shocker to me because when you think Aston Martin, you don't really think race car. You don't really think time attack. But this, this is nothing close to James Bond style. This is straight up Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Being uh, being based on the AMG GT, vaguely, um, as it, it does share the same engine and the same um, platform to the AMG GT, it does make this such a fun toy. Obviously, Aston Martin sprinkled all their spice on top of it, especially with this F1 edition, better suspension, better uh, transmission software the engines tuned I don't know if they changed the, the engine I have no idea but oh ridiculous car bit of air but we got a big big wang on the back snaps corners absolutely ridiculous car this and everything is within the speed limit it's honestly shocking how fun and how amazing this is to drive under 60 miles an hour sounds so yeah if you want to get one of these and you don't want to hit the track every other weekend with it which you should a hundred percent should you can just come on some B roads up to 60 miles an hour you will have so much fun in it it's crazy and because of these sticky sticky tires you get the uh, occasional stone getting flung up and hitting something but it's not a problem because this is fully PPF'd, which uh, is amazing. What a car. What a car. But you know what, guys? I think I've bored you enough with my talking. I'm going to shut up for a second, take you for a spin, and I'll catch you in a second.
How good is this? How good is this thing? The engine is ridiculous. Obviously this exhaust is quite a bit improved from the normal Vantage being the F1 edition and it's a lot louder, snaps a bit more. It's still not as brutal as a pre-old PF sort of car um, or if you had a custom exhaust, but it's really good for what it is. And I'm sure for about three, four grand, you can get a really, really good exhaust for this. But yeah, it's just, just such a machine. The front end, I keep talking about it, it's amazing. I mean, the way it corners, the way it goes into the vents, it's, it's ridiculous. You've got so much trust in it, especially that it's running the uh, Pirelli P0s. Yes, Pirelli P0s. It's so sticky. I mean, after taking it for a blast up and down on, a, on one B road, just not even 60 miles an hour, between 40 and 60 miles an hour, that's like, what, 10, 15 minutes? I got out of the car, put my hand on the tires, and they were sticky and hot. Amazing, honestly amazing. You've got so much trust in this car. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Aston Martin has done an amazing job with this, and uh, yeah, if you, uh, if you wanna hear more about it and see a bit more on the channel, let me know, and I'll see if I can, uh, can get back in it and give you guys a bit more footage. So yeah, until the next time, Peace out.